In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record the wildlife in your garden, both during the day and at night. Hello, my name is Mike and welcome to Hedgehogs Hollow. This is the channel for people passionate about hedgehogs who want to attract them to their garden, want to care for them while they're in their garden, and also who don't mind watching a little bit of the entertaining antics of hedgehogs. If that sounds like you, then why don't you subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification every time we upload a new video. When hedgehogs first started arriving in my garden, it was great to see them out in the evenings when I was still up and about and when the lights of the house would still illuminate them. But very quickly, I realized most of their antics and most of their best behaviors were to be found late at night, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. And I was looking for a way of recording and filming those antics. And so very quickly, I started searching around for the right equipment to record them late at night. And so what I've got is an arsenal of cameras and other equipment that I want to walk through with you so that you can also share in that enjoyment of recording hedgehogs as well as other wildlife in your garden late at night and during the day. You'll find a link to all of the equipment we're going to discuss in the description below this video. So if you want to buy any of the items, you can do so by following those links. The most obvious item is of course the camera. And having searched around, I settled on the Ape Man H45 camera. So the H45 is a 12 megapixel infrared camera. It also has a water resistance certification, which is great for our British summers and winters. It's quite a lightweight yet sturdy camera. And the only area of delicacy that I find is this hinge in the middle. And that you just do need to be particularly careful when opening and closing too quickly. But if you look after that, then no problem at all. The camera has served me well for at least two years now. And to such a degree, I actually have three of them now. It's quite an easy camera to set up. It's got this menu item in the, on the inside, as well as a screen where you can see what you've recorded. The settings are really simple and you can choose to have either still photos, video or a combination of two where the camera will actually take a number of still photos and then record video. And you can set how long you want that video to be. It also has a timer switch, which is fantastic because you don't want the camera to be on all the time throughout the day if you leave it out for, for the whole day and the whole night. And you can set when you want the camera to be active. And then it's got the motion sensor on the front and that motion sensor detects motion of the hedgehogs. It's good, good enough for hedgehogs. It's been good enough for small birds. So it is a very good infrared sensor and that sensor will pick up the motion and then activate the camera. And it's been exceptional because over the last two years, there've been many, many occasions where I've recorded across all three cameras, at least 200 minutes of camera footage, video footage of the evening's activities. So the three cameras have been really, really good. Now the camera itself comes with a number of fixtures and fittings, which you can use to fix the camera against a fence post, or a tree or something like that. But I thought that those fittings were actually more useful if you were recording large animals, if you were taking the camera out into the forest, for example, and recording things like badgers and deers. So on to my next piece of kit then, the octopus tripod. Now this has been really great for ensuring that I can get the camera both close to the ground and also level because the flexible legs ensure that I can negotiate any uneven ground and make sure that I get the camera close to the houses where I want it, nice ground level for the hedgehogs and also get a nice level picture. It's got a screw connection at the top, which conveniently with the H45 camera will screw into the bottom of the camera here. And so once that's done, you can make sure that your camera is nice and level, close to the ground, close to the hedgehog activity that you want to record. So this has been really, really useful. 
You may wonder if the tripod is in fact waterproof. It's got a fabric foam across the legs, but for my purposes, I found that just covering it with the type of plastic cling film that you get for the kitchen was very useful in protecting the legs. And again, after two years of fairly constant use, the legs and the tripod are in very good condition still, despite spending nights out in the open. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I can manage to record up to 200 or more minutes of video in a single evening. And so to my next piece of kit, an SD card. The HP 45 takes an SD card of any size, but I have found that the 32 gig SD card has been very useful and I've never run out of space, except when I've forgotten to format it. The SD card simply slides into the bottom of the camera and with a simple click, it's attached. It's fully waterproof. The camera has been standing outside during the night, during the rain, and I've never found that that's been a problem. So the SD card, a very important piece of my kit. Once you've taken all the videos that you've uh, recorded during the course of the night, they download to your laptop or to your computer with a simple USB to micro USB cable. And that's been really simple as well. Of course, you could also just simply take out the SD card. And if you had a card reader on your laptop, that's a far simpler way to just download the recordings straight off the SD card. So we've got two more pieces of kit and they relate to power for the camera. And now the camera itself takes eight of these double A sized batteries. Now I can tell you that the first time I used it, I went through eight batteries very quickly. And as I said earlier, I'm recording on occasion 200 or more minutes a night of footage. And I've recorded thousands of video clips over the course of the two years that I've been using the three cameras. So what I found very useful was rechargeable batteries. And in fact, I'm now up to 32 rechargeable batteries just to ensure that I have constant power for the cameras. It's not that the cameras themselves are very hungry or very highly energy consuming, but because I'm recording so much video, I do tend to get through the, the batteries quite quickly. So having a good supply of batteries, very important. But with your batteries, you want to ensure that you've got a good charger. And so the final piece of kit for my in my armory is this charging unit. Now I bought this charging unit, it can charge eight batteries at a time, and it can both charge the smaller triple A size batteries, as well as the larger double A size batteries that I'm using in the H45 camera. Not only does it have the space and capacity for eight of the uh, batteries, either triple A or double A, but it also has two really useful USB ports. So actually this charger has become a charging station where I can both charge the batteries themselves and also charge my phone, my iPad, things like that. So having the USB charging facility as well as the battery facility, charging facility has been really useful. And there you go. With the camera, with its eight charged up batteries inserted and the SD car, card put in, we are ready to set ourselves up for another evening's recording of our hedgehogs. And it's not just the hedgehogs that we've seen, we've recorded a number of other nighttime visitors. If you'd like to see actual footage that's come out of the H45 cameras, then please head over to the Uncut playlist. A link is in the uh, screen above. And you can see actual video footage, the one minute foot video footage that has come straight out of the camera that's not been edited in any way. So you can get an idea of the quality of the footage that's coming out of these cameras. As I say, I have three of them now that I use and I would highly recommend them. You can find links to any of the equipment that we've just gone through in the video description below. So if you'd like to explore the products more and perhaps purchase them, then have a look at those links in the description below. If you have recorded wildlife in your garden using an H45 camera or something else, then do let me know in the comments below. Or if you intend to record wildlife, then again, let me know in the comments below. 
If you've enjoyed this video and it's been useful, then please do give it a like. And as I say, Hedgehog's Hollow is the channel for people passionate about hedgehogs. So if that is you and this has been useful, then please subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll get notified of every new video that we upload. Until next time, from me, Mike, it's goodbye from Hedgehog's Hollow.